I was the Sunday school superintendent, the dummy president of the wagon works and the canning factory, acting for Thomas Rhodes in the banking clique. My son, the cashier of the bank, what did Rhodes' daughter? My weekdays spent in making money, my Sundays at church and in prayer. Everything a cog in the wheel of things as they are, of money, master and men, made white with the painting of the Christian creed. And then, the bank collapsed. I stood and looked at the wrecked machine. The wheels with blow holes stopped with putty and painted. The rotten bolts, the broken rods, and only the hopper for souls fit to be used again. And a new devourer of life. The newspapers, judges, and money magicians built over again. I was stripped to the bone, but I lay in the rock of ages. Seeing now for the game, no longer a dupe, and knowing the upright shall dwell in the land, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. And suddenly, Dr. Myers discovered a cancer in my liver. I was not, after all, the particular care of God, or even thus standing on a peak above the mist through which I had climbed, and ready for a larger life in the world. Eternal forces moved me on with a push.